Have you ever wondered what it's like to live on an emotional roller coaster where your feelings and actions seem unpredictable and extreme? This is the daily reality for those with borderline personality disorder, or BPD. A complex mental health condition, BPD is not as well known as some other disorders, but it's just as impactful, if not more so, on the lives of those who live with it. BPD is characterized by a pattern of intense emotions, unstable relationships, and impulsive behaviors. Imagine experiencing emotions so intense that they feel like a storm inside you, changing rapidly from extreme happiness to intense anger, sadness, or fear within a matter of hours or even minutes. Picture feeling empty or numb inside, struggling to control these overwhelming emotions, which may lead to impulsive behaviors like self-harm or substance abuse. Now imagine these intense emotions spilling over into your relationships. Those with BPD often form intense and quickly developing relationships, idealizing their partners at first, then becoming disillusioned and moving on. They may also have a fear of abandonment, which can lead to behavior that can be perceived as clingy or possessive. The difficulty of trusting others is another hallmark of this disorder. Impulsive behaviors, another characteristic feature of BPD, can lead to engaging in risky or dangerous activities like reckless driving, unprotected sex, or spending sprees. Self-harm, such as cutting, burning, or scratching oneself, is not uncommon as a way to cope with intense emotions. Suicidal thoughts or behaviors can also be associated with this disorder. Other symptoms may include feeling detached from oneself or reality, chronic feelings of emptiness or boredom, and a distorted self-image, which constantly oscillates between feeling worthless and grandiose. BPD is a multifaceted and deeply complex condition that affects every aspect of a person's life. But despite its complexity, it is a disorder that can be understood and managed with the right treatment and support. Understanding BPD is the first step towards empathy and support for those who live with this condition. And that's what we're here to do today, to understand, to empathize, and to support. So what does it mean to have BPD? What are the signs and symptoms? Borderline personality disorder, or BPD, is a complex mental health condition with a wide range of symptoms. At the heart of BPD is emotional instability. Imagine mood swings that are not just frequent, but rapid and intense. You might feel extreme happiness one moment and in the next, be consumed by intense anger, sadness, or fear. It's not just about the mood swings, though. There's also a persistent feeling of emptiness or feeling numb inside, like you're just going through the motions of life. Another significant aspect of BPD is unstable relationships. People with BPD tend to form intense and quickly developing relationships. They often idealize their partners at first, but soon become disillusioned and move on. This pattern is driven by a deep-seated fear of abandonment, which can lead to clingy or possessive behavior. Trusting others becomes a hurdle, further complicating relationships. Impulsive behaviors are also common with BPD. This can mean engaging in risky or dangerous activities like reckless driving, unprotected sex, or spending sprees. Self-harm, such as cutting, burning, or scratching oneself, is another form of impulsive behavior. It is used as a way to cope with intense emotions and is a clear sign of the pain that's being experienced. But BPD doesn't stop at these symptoms. People with BPD may also experience feelings of detachment from oneself or reality, a phenomenon known as dissociation. Chronic feelings of emptiness or boredom are common, as is a distorted self-image, which constantly fluctuates between feeling worthless and feeling grandiose. It's important to understand that these symptoms are not signs of a flawed character or a lack of willpower. They are the manifestation of a mental health disorder that the person is struggling with. These symptoms can be overwhelming, but it's important to remember that they are just that, symptoms of a disorder, not the entirety of a person's identity. But what causes BPD? Is it genetic, environmental, or a combination of both? This is a question that many researchers and medical professionals have been trying to answer. The truth is, the exact causes of borderline personality disorder remain largely unknown. One theory suggests that BPD might be linked to genetic factors. It's thought that certain individuals might carry genes, making them more susceptible to developing the disorder. However, just because someone carries these genes doesn't mean they will definitely develop BPD. 
Environmental factors are another potential cause. This includes experiences in early life, such as childhood trauma or abuse. These difficult experiences may contribute to the development of BPD in later life. It's important to remember, though, that these are just theories. The cause of BPD likely varies from person to person and could involve a combination of both genetic and environmental factors. Though the causes may be unclear, the impact of BPD on an individual's life is undeniable. BPD may seem daunting, but it is a treatable condition. So how do we treat it? The primary treatment for borderline personality disorder is psychotherapy, a form of talk therapy that helps individuals understand and manage their emotions, behaviors, and relationships. It's not just a one-size-fits-all approach. Various types of psychotherapy can be used, tailored to fit the unique needs of each person. One of the most commonly used is Dialectical Behavior Therapy, or DBT. DBT focuses on teaching skills to control intense emotions, reduce self-destructive behaviors, and improve relationships. It combines individual therapy sessions with group skills training, where people can learn and practice new ways of handling distress and interacting with others. Another form of therapy is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT. CBT helps individuals identify and change core beliefs and behaviors that are inaccurate or harmful and develop healthier ways of thinking and acting. This approach can be particularly effective in addressing self-harm behaviors and suicidal thoughts, which are common in people with BPD. Mentalization-based therapy, or MBT, is another approach. It helps people with BPD understand and interpret what others might be thinking or feeling. This can be incredibly useful in managing unstable relationships, a hallmark of BPD. Psychotherapy isn't the only treatment option. In some cases, medication can be prescribed to help manage symptoms. While there's no specific drug to treat BPD, medications like antidepressants, mood stabilizers, and antipsychotics can help manage co-occurring symptoms like anxiety, depression, or mood swings. Remember, treatment isn't about curing BPD, but about managing symptoms and improving quality of life. It can be a long journey, requiring patience and commitment. It's crucial to work with a healthcare provider to create a treatment plan that best fits your needs. Lastly, it's important to note that recovery looks different for everyone. Some people may see significant improvement in a relatively short time, while for others, it may take longer. But one thing is certain, with the right treatment and support, people with BPD can learn to manage their symptoms and lead fulfilling lives. Living with BPD can be challenging, but it's not a life sentence. It's a part of a person's life, not their entire existence. Imagine a roller coaster. It has its highs and lows, moments of speed and moments of calm. Living with borderline personality disorder can be similar, but it's important to remember that every ride can be managed and every challenge can be met with resilience and strength. Just like every person is unique, every person's experience with BPD is unique. Some days may be filled with intense emotions while others are calm and steady. There could be periods of emotional instability and times when relationships feel like they're on a shaky ground. Impulsive behaviors may rear their heads now and then, but remember this isn't the whole picture. Living with BPD means learning to navigate these challenges. It means understanding your emotions, recognizing your triggers, and developing coping strategies. It's about finding stability amidst the instability, finding trust amidst the fear, and finding control amidst the impulsivity. And while living with BPD can be tough, it's not a solitary journey. Support is crucial. It can come from loved ones, from therapists, from support groups. It's about fostering understanding, not just within yourself, but within your circle. Remember, it's okay to lean on others. It's okay to ask for help. Treatment plays a significant role too. Psychotherapy can help manage emotions, develop healthy coping mechanisms, and improve relationships. In some cases, medication may also be beneficial. It's not about curing BPD, but rather it's about managing it, about finding ways to live a fulfilling life despite it. People with BPD are not defined by their disorder. They can lead productive lives. They can have fulfilling relationships. They can achieve their dreams and goals. They can be successful. They can be happy. They can be anything they want to be. Living with BPD can be a journey of ups and downs, but with the right help and support, it's a journey that can lead to growth, understanding, and fulfillment. So now we've taken a deeper look into BPD 
its symptoms, causes, and treatments. We've explored the emotional instability, the unstable relationships, and the impulsive behaviors that characterize borderline personality disorder. We've shed light on the fact that these symptoms are not a choice, but a part of a complex mental health condition. We've delved into the possible causes, highlighting the interplay between genetic and environmental factors. We've also underscored that BPD, while challenging, is treatable with psychotherapy and sometimes medication. Finally, we've highlighted the possibility of living a fulfilling and productive life with BPD with the right support and treatment. Remember, mental health is as important as physical health. Let's break the stigma surrounding BPD and other mental health disorders by spreading awareness and understanding. Thank you for joining this journey of learning today.